there's been people who disagreed with what I had to say about Araco mutants, their relevance, their mainstay, their importance, and why I dismiss them and why I'm wrong. There are two facts that I've accepted, two truths that I've seen through time, and these are the two, and this is what the video is about. When you introduce characters in groups, it's less likely to succeed. And also the second truth is, the longer a character's been around, the more likelihood that they'll succeed, they'll be used again and again and be prominent in stories. That's all I'm gonna talk about here. Wow, so much to talk, oh my, I have no idea where to begin. Um, let's start with that second point where the, fir the first five X-Men that we know about, right? Uh, there's Magneto and X and Professor X and Mystique and people who join along the uh, get introduced along the line. The frog guy, Toad, right? Who still gets used. Uh, he was introduced a long time ago, even though he was not important. Imagine if there was a group of five villains right now. You remember those horticulture women? You think the fourth horticulture woman, do we even remember her name? No. She's not going to be what Toad was. Why? She was introduced er, recently. He was introduced a long time ago. Um, then we get the giant size X-Men team who are introduced, so that's Storm, Wolverine, that's Colossus, Nightcrawler, um, Thunderbird, I guess he's not too, too prominent, but Sunfire and Banshee, they still pop up here and there. They were introduced a long time ago, but they were in a group, right? So there's going to be ones who break out. Four broke out for sure. Colossus, Nightcrawler, Storm, Wolverine. Undeniable. Am I forgetting someone from that? No, there were the breakouts. Mm, what's the next one? New Mutants? So that's the 80s that these guys pop up. Um, they've always had a book. There's always been a New Mutants book. They've been featured importantly. Jonathan Hickman used Cannonball in his Avengers. I'm not dissing the New Mutants. They have a position. Some are more important than others, but like Danny Moonstar isn't as high profile as Cannonball, but that's okay. Ileana is another one, okay. Uh, Gen X happens. Don't try to tell me that Gen X was a success. Uh, the Academy X New Mutant people. There, again, there is a less likelihood of success. Who broke out from that? I'd, I'd consider the people from that, but let's not say Glob Herman broke out. Aside from Ed Brisson, who, who really loved that character, no one's been using Glob Herman in the last uh, 20 years 20 years when 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 grant morrison introduced him um but i would give quentin choir that and x23 that two breakout stars x23 debuted in the animated show first then they used her and she does check boxes because she's the female version of a original character like logan so eh, i'll give it to you so that's two out of that crop Others get treated like Rock Slide, which we all saw happen in X Factor issue 2. He's not just a dead. He cannot be resurrected at all to his um, original self. Like they, they really screwed that character up. It's comic book, so of course you can always... We make a bet with Saturnine if we roll the dice and she has to resurrect him back. And we got him back, yay. But no. Like Jay Guthrie was also in that group. And it was a big deal in the new X-Men book when he died. Dust was really sad, cried in front of his mom. He's back. He's not getting importance. You know, his sister Arrow did. She got, like, a comic book to be featured in. But, no. The newer you are, the less likely you will be to succeed. And if you're introduced in a group, the less likely you will be uh, successful. Dust, she checks boxes so they'll use her in Champions and stuff. But, like, do you guys remember how she was used in the New Mutants book? where she was part of the little group of kids who were learning how to combine powers, but she's also part of a superhero team called Champions. It's like they don't know what to do with her. They treat her like the diversity token that she is. Two breakout stars from that crop. Uh, the next group would have been like Wolverine and the X-Men, alongside of Bendis' group. I do like what Hickman did with Gold Balls and with Tempest, how they're th these five mutants who can team up, team up to resurrect people but for the most part shark boy eye girl eye boy shark girl and uh nature girl 
but let's not pretend they're successes. Give me one second, because my computer just had a low battery, and my laptop is charged, and I was talking to you about Shark Boy Eye Girl. Oh, look at Eye Boy's position now. Sure, he was used in a comic. Look, he's on an X-Factor comic, right? As one of you drew to my attention. What level is the X-Factor comic? When was it introduced in Don of X? It's the 13th title. That's, that's telling, guys. It shows me the position that he is put in, where after everyone is taken, let's do something with Eye Boy. That's what that means to me. When the six books that came out, it was Quanon um, for, for Fallen Angels. She got her own book. Again, a, a character who was introduced solo, not in a group of characters. Uh, there's her second half of Betsy Braddock who gets her own book with Excalibur. Her book, Apocalypse book, Rogue and Gambit, these classic characters. X-Force is a book that came out. Beast, that's Logan, that's Jean Grey, that's their book. Classic characters. Marauders, that's Kate Pride, who was introduced to Solo. Eh, with Dazzler, I guess. Wasn't that the same book? Um, Kate Pride, Storm, Emma Frost, that's the Marauders. We get the X-Men title, which is usually Scott Summers' book. Professor X and Magneto showed up in that one. That's the X-Men book. What's the other one I'm forgetting? New Mutants. They always have a book. They're, they, you know, they are never too far off in the distance the new musicians are honored and respected why because they are a long time ago although they are a group there are there are some characters in that group who are just not uh, popping but for the most part like Ileana who was part of that group yes I know she was introduced in Giant Size X-Men you nerds I understand that Colossus was saving his sister from the tractor I get it um, but Ileana Cannon Boss and not Sunspot but Sunfire no Sunspot I'm right you know they're, they're, they're of utmost importance and more than Danny Moonstar who's a Valkyrie then there's Magma you know they're, they're, there's levels to this but they're they're not Rockslide who was treated like trash killed and then not able to resurrect they're not they're not treated that way then we get Eyeboy and he's introduced in that book you see the difference here there's mutants who are gonna be important and mutants who are not going to be important. And when you give me these Arako mutants who are all introduced at once, you expect me to remember all of their names, including the guy who could resurrect a planet because he's got an ecosystem inside him. I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy the Arako book because I don't want it to take the space in my long boxes, which is growing as a comic book collector. I, I mean, when I was... When I was couple years ago I, I was so happy to fill a long box and now I'm like looking at comic book purchases wondering if I will care about them anymore I no longer need a whole run of a series which really went nowhere Ms. Marvel Kamala Khan that those 18 issues I really don't need that I didn't get all 18 because 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 other reasons I have nothing to do with anything but she is an example of something like where there was the group of Inhumans and then there's the Kamala Khan. So who's going to be the Kamala Khan out of these Arako mutants? Will it be Iska the Unbeaten? Will it be Death? Will it be the Crocodile one? Summoner? Will it be um, the wife? Apocalypse's wife? Will it be her? Not all of these Arako mutants are going to be hits. I don't think any of them will be hits. Because I know that the next guy who's going to be writing X-Men isn't chomping at the bit to write Iska the Unbeaten. That writer has like 40, 50 stories in their heads where they're like, well, I'm going to, as soon as I get the X-Men, there's this thing I wanted to do with Magneto. There's this thing I always wanted to do with, eh. or maybe there's this new mutant character villain who I wanted to create that no one's, no, no one's used yet, and I'm going to make this new mutant villain. They're not looking forward to honoring the most recent run. And that goes for all comics. If you don't know that, then you're denying the truth. Your turn. I'm sure you guys still disagree with me. Let's go at it again.